Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will talk about installing Zotero and using Zotero on your Windows system. First of all just write Zotero standalone project and that will directly take you to the website. Just click the downloads option. Here you can see two options Zotero 5 for Windows and Zotero connector. Let's first download Zotero 5.0 XZ uh, file for Windows, right? Now it's downloaded 41 MB file. You just need to uh, click the XZ file or you can go into the folder as well. I'm just clicking it. Yeah, now it's extracting into your Windows system or you can say my Windows system, right? And then after that, uh, it will start to install. Just click next, so click, select the standard option and then see program files. Zotero is the default place where Zotero will be installed. I've just selected the default uh, options and now it's installing and it will take a couple of seconds to complete. You can see there are a number of files. Now done. Launch Zotero. Finish. Right. And now it's uh, installed. Now after that I, we need to install the Chrome connector. And when we click install Chrome connector it will take to the, out to the website here to the extensions of Chrome. I just said that add to Chrome. And it will uh, add it in the upper bar. Here I'll just show you in a while. Here you can see this is now installed and it's available here as it has been added in the Chrome, right? Now this actually uh, is the Zotero connector and now uh, now this is installed here. One more thing but which you need to know is that uh, the preferences from where you have to synchronize your Zotero with your account so that it will it will uh, install all of the options here it's already on my name that is already linked because I already use it you can see a lot of references but I'll tell you how you have to do it in yourself right to sign in you just have to write uh, Zotero sign in and uh, that will take you to the this website here you can click on register Zotero this uh, uh, and you write your details here email address username password and then click registered and when you will click this register it will send you an email and that confirmation of username and password will be inserted here in the preferences right here I have already uh, linked that but you just have to put your information here in the synchronization and that will synchronize your email address for the word uh, uh, plugins, for example, if the, those plugins are not installed automatically, what you need to do is go on the word processor plugin installation. And here you can see that it's already written that the word processor plugins are bundled with Zotero and should be installed automatically for each supported word processor. But if that is not installed automatically, you can go and click on manual installing, manually installing the Zotero. And you can see that uh, for different operating systems, the options are available, uh, steps are available here. You just have to follow these steps, but it's very rare that you have to do it yourself. Usually it is done automatically. I'll show you how. So now I'm just telling you uh, how to cite a reference. For example, I've write uh, 2R and now I'm select selecting any reference style and from 2R I am selecting one reference here. Here you can see, for instance, I've just selected two R, and now this reference is cited in front of it, right? Now, if I want to, uh, I also add the reference along with this citation. Then uh, I'll just have to click refresh, and the reference will be added here add by adding the bibliography. Now this bibliography is added, and the reference is here. You can also change the preferences. For example, here I was use, using American style. Now, if I click nature, now this nature style is added, right? So that's very simple and straightforward. Now, if I want to download one reference, first I'm showing you how to make a folder here. And I'm just adding a new group, for example, and click OK. And now I want to install one 
download one reference here let's say I've just write, wrote here um, I think this is wrong let's let's start here again scholar Google scholar something like that wait wait wait, wait. yeah Google scholar dot com enter now I uh, just uh, selecting the first option just I'm just showing you how to install now here this is the paper and uh, you can see here the extension of Zotero Chrome uh, will g connect that to your Zotero installed in your computer I just when I just click this one now this paper article is now saved into a new group which I have already made here you can see this one right now if I want to add this into my computer uh, my uh, word document for example let's show you one thing more here I'm just writing here for example pan cancer and now I want to cite this just add citation and this one in the new group here you can see this article is available by Chen et al I've just clicked and now the bibliography and the reference both are added simultaneously so in this way you can run the whole process and you can uh, so here you can see that I have told you how to download how to connect and how to cite a reference using Zotero right thank you